Long ago in Japan, once lived a very successful businessman, whose business was to sell combs. Businessman got old and was about to retire. He had three sons and before retiring he wanted to place his business into wise and able hands. So, he called his sons and gave them a assignment. He told them to sell combs in the Buddhist monastery. He told them they have only three days to do it, and report back to him. His sons were shocked and confused because, monks who lived in monastery were bald and never grew any hair. Yet all three sons went for the job assigned to them. After three days, first son reported to his father that, he was able to sell only two combs. Father asked him, how were you able to convince them to buy those combs? First son replied, I told them that they can use those combs for scratching their backs in case of itching. After some hours second son came and reported that he was able to sell 10 combs. Father asked him same question, what did you said them? Second son replied, I advised them if they buy combs and keep them in monastery that would help their cattails or pets, in case of comb their hairs. Just few minutes later, third son came and reported that, he was able to sell thousand combs. Everyone was surprised. Father was very happy with his result and was curious. He asked him, son, you did a wonderful job. How you were able to sell thousand combs? Third son replied, I went to monk and gave them an idea. The idea was that, if some of the teachings of Buddha were to be printed or embossed on the comb, and given as a takeaway gift to the visitors and pilgrims, they will remember the teachings of Buddha on a daily basis while combing their hair. Father chose the third son as the successor. In life you see, the difference between a successful and unsuccessful person is just matter of thinking and mindset. The winner are not different, but they do things differently. This make a person successful. A person's growth is determined by the reach of his thinking capacity. So always think bigger and be the best of best.